man, it's getting tense. It really is getting tense. So we take five damage. Oh man, I wish I I left double white for the Emperor. That would change so much. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today control deck that you might like if you like more action. Because in this control deck, prepare, we actually kill our opponents with damage. I know, crazy, right? So it's not uh, just reaction uh, deck, we want to actually kill our opponent as soon as possible, if possible. Uh, that was great sentence, Slof, as always. We have Urabrask Forge, 3 mana uh, artifact that scales very, very nicely. And this is your setup turn. You want to put it into play, and then you are playing like a control deck. Then you try to answer everything, counter spells. But every single turn you are getting better and better creature on board. It also helps a lot against planeswalkers as, uh, you know, they, this token has a trample and haste. So in few turns it actually will kill every planeswalker unless they have removal. We also have some cool tricks up our sleeve if, because this is very predictable, right? You know exactly what will happen for, you know, infinite turns ahead. So we need to add some uh, unpredictability. That, that, that was a weird word. Anyway, Alchemist Gambit is one of the ways that we cheat basically our opponent's calculation because he has one turn less than he expected. We can play it in both modes. However, of course, you want to be sure that you will kill your opponent, but sometimes he stepped out and you, you know what will happen if you play this and you know that you will kill your opponent. And we have Garvanic Iteration, so we have a lot of modes to play this spell, right? We can go for the full cleave version for 7 mana. If the game goes longer, you can even Galvanic Iteration for 2 extra turns and then the forge becomes absolutely ridiculously strong. So this is the deck, I really hope you like it. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, like comment it really does help youtube loves the stuff and there's nothing cooler than to see that you know the video got popular and people are enjoying it so uh, you can help with this and i would be absolutely thankful so let's go into the games have some fun tell me what you think because i think you might like this one quite a lot Who goes first i mean we have pretty decent opening we don't have value but we have plans we have answers so it should go fine right and I will actually go with the Shivan Reef on this turn. I think uh, it's worth taking the damage because the Tanish Sanderdog will probably be the play. Perfect. And this is why we have this card in the in the deck. Exactly for you. Delivered as intended. Alright, let's go like this and call it a turn. Probably we would like the Fires of Victory to be a thing. Uh, not great. Not really great. Let's kill it. I'm thinking about the Bright as well. But he might have Bang Buster at some point, you know? Oh man, the ward. The ward always hurts so much. But it is what it is. Alright. Let's go for the red mana that doesn't hurt us. So if he has another Trespasser, that's not great for us. Pilfer. A random Pilfer appears. Fires of Victor probably, unless he has Bangbuster, then a Braid. So he doesn't have a Bangbuster probably. We need to hit some value cards, like Memory Deluge. Emperor is a decent one as well. Three cards to three cards. Man, it's really close. This Trespasser man was really big hit. <sighs> it's still you. It's still you. Man, I actually... Well, no, sure that is actually even worse. Like, sure that is really hard to deal with, especially if they do not attack. Yeah. I mean, let's just keep playing Emperors, I guess. <laughs> So Flameless Bolt first was the amazing answer for the Tanish Thunderdog, and right now it's absolutely amazing answer uh, to the world, so we can discard something. Alright, that's an Emperor. It's super scary. Like, he needs to be out of gas at some point, because we are, we are out of gas ourselves. And the card advantage 
is no joke. All right, that's fine. I actually do not mind it. So we went 2-4-2 two two basically. And we are both hurting like crazy. This last card, man. What is it? What's in the box? Uh, it definitely feels like short, sure doesn't it? <laughs> it's just always here lurking. Waiting for the right moment. So I will try to show that I don't have another Emperor. Because what are the chances, right, that I have another Emperor? Don't you dare. We know what everyone is thinking and we do not want this. No. He's super thinking. I need to click it fast when he goes through the ne next phase. That's... That's pretty insane, man. Oh no, it's an another trespasser. Good. I wanted to bait him so he doesn't see the Emperor. And that was a good call by him, because there is really low chance that I have second Emperor. But guess what? It's, it's the Shuffler action. <laughs> Let's go with the plus one, because we don't really have anything going for us. And the problem is that... Are you serious? Oh, man. That's the destroy target artifact, I guess, but this will be a huge problem for us. We need to hit... Like, we need to hit some good spells, guys. I mean... Sure. <laughs> Alright, how do we do it? We need to make a samurai, right? And then sacrifice the Emperor. Oh boy, it's so close! It's insanely close. Life of Toshiro Mezawa. This is kinda a whiff, so that, that's good for us. Let's see the attack. I mean, what are the chances, right, that I have another Emperor? It's not possible, right? <laughs> like, he's playing correctly, that's the funny part. That's the funny part. He's absolutely right, that's... That's so, such a low chance that he shouldn't try to go around it. So we are leaving this land, just for a discard. Finally, we are out of those trespassers, and this is something. This is the card we needed, guys. He will just play whatever he will get, right? But let's just start smoking him a little bit. Alright, the last Emperor survived. Please, just whiff. Just a, a casual swamp. Just a casual swamp right here. You know what? I'll take the life of Toshiro Mezawa. Gain to life, sure. Alright, so this is the turn. And now we should have... Oh man, I really want this. I want this so much, man. We will take it. We will take it. At some point it will win us the game, I think. I mean... Yeah. Alright, how do we do it, guys? Like, we need to win from this. We have the win in our hand. So if I make a creature... That's a 5-5. Five, five. If I make burn down the house, that's pretty good deal. He has only one trigger here. And then a 2-3. I mean, I think we are going aggressive. That's, wh that's who we are with this kind of control. Like, 17 is already pretty low. And don't forget, we have two turns if we really have to uh, just kill him. The live game makes a difference. Oh, that's a really good draw. Not for this turn, but from the next turn onwards, that's a lot. Syncopate, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we are going like this. We are going smork smork. And if he, had, if, if he blocks the devil, uh, that's a lot of damage to his face. We are close to killing him, man. Alright, 10 damage. If we attack again, well, that's not enough, right? It's not enough. 2. Alright, this is important. I think we just stay with Syncopate, man. We are winning on board. 
we have Emperor, we have Samurais, and we have the Alchemist Gambit that will give us the game. Nobody expects this card, so you know. Alright, that's fine. Go for the throat. No, oh, I, I want to win with this. You know what? Do we really go for the Lifar? I think we do. I think we do. This is first time ever I would do such a play, but I think in this particular case it's worth it. He has something that is an instant, right? Unless... Not sure if this holds priority, to be, to be honest. It's kind of mana ability. Alright, the Forge. The Forge is pretty good. I think he might have removal and he might play it now. No. Alright, alright. Alright. He doesn't know about the Gambit, guys. And this is a lot of damage. Alright. One. Two. <laughs> and it's so close. So, we can play it. And attack again. But then there is a chance that it's not enough. I will play with the Bangbuster first. It's too scary. I, if I had 7 mana that would be so much easier, but you know, they are not there yet. And you know what? I'm drawing, because if we hit double land from the top, we can actually go for it on the next turn. And it might be the case. It might be the case. And I don't think he has draw that gets him out of this trouble, you know? Sure. I mean, alright, this is pretty good draw. This is definitely something. Sacrifice is a creature. Alright, guys. Like, I think we should be able to win this game if we are smart. But are we? Bankbuster. Not amazing, but it could be a 5-5. Five, five. I honestly think... Oh man, this is so hard. I don't think we will win like this. He has three creatures, right? Alright, you got my samurai. You Off got you him. Go. He has zero cards, right? All right. It looks weird, like it's it's a card there. All right. So he can start attacking. Okay, good call, good call. But he tapped a lot of creatures for this, and this might be his demise, because what he doesn't know is we have one less, one more creature with haste. <laughs> yeah, I think we won thanks to this. Smork. We are not blocking, my friend. You tapped. A lot. All right, I, I see our win. Uh, I don't think he can do anything about it. He stopped. This is our turn. <laughs> and unfortunately, Alchemist Gambit, so close, but I don't think we want to do it. We just play like this. That's a forge. That's a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> and he's at one. Man, the day of calculated lethals, that's for sure. Man, we really did nicely so far. And the forge every single time just was this, you know, turning point that we managed to kill our opponent thanks to. Alright, going second, which is definitely painful when you have double syncopate and the forge. All of those cards are definitely better on the play. Alright, our opponent is playing. Let's see what type of aggro our opponent is playing and this time it's soldiers and not mono red so you know yay for variety it might be azorius soldiers so like you know you have so many options all right on so this will be resurrect reinforcements and we actually go for this oh wow he actually missed the true drop that's insane that's insane because suddenly just like this as you can see, if they miss one bit, the deck is absolutely different then. Alright. Alright. 
Let's go for the blue mana because we definitely have a lot of, of cards that can use it. Hmm. He doesn't have two drops, right? So it means that all of those cards are three or four drops. So I think we just go. It's very hard to play Forge, especially on the draw. But I just know that I need to keep countering everything, you know? At least unless we can prepare with the farewell, you know? Mm, that's an interesting one, because we can start and have farewell already. And that's a really big deal. I really want to start with the forge though, because it helps. But I think we need to play it only when we are sure that we can activate the farewell. Because then, uh, like if he has insanely strong turn, uh, this might be a trouble for us, because we won't be able to sweep on the next turn. And you know, even this two damage a turn still hurts, there's also Foundry. So that's a lot of damage overall, sure. So it's four damage a turn, six potentially. That's not a joke. I think we should hit the land. If not, we always have uh, double treasure, right? But we have three cards. At least one should be a land. At least. All right. And we don't need to paint ourselves too far. Well, that's a, that's a big deal. All right, our opponent, and uh, not realizing probably that he has a card that can be activated, but it's fine, it's great. All right, so, I mean, we have red and white cards, so let's go like this. Emperor seems amazing. Or we can just go double forge. Hmm, that's an interesting one. I think we go Forge into Emperor, and this is the play, I, I believe. We need to, to get it going somehow, you know? The first turns are always the weakest, but later it gets much better. Smirk. <laughs> That's not something he expected, right? Uh, I'm a bit scared about the Foundry because after Farewell we still might get a hit. And don't forget, if they hit another Foundry, uh, that's a lot of damage. You can get 4 damage into the face, right? Right directly after sweeping the board. So it's, it's something you definitely need to consider and you cannot go as low as usually. Hmm. If he activates it, that's really good. This is wh what we banked for, or we banked on. Let's see the plus one. Perfect. All right. So, definitely going the Emperor here. This means... Uh, all right, so let's think. I think we won the game. We just need to play it smart. And we have six for the farewell. Great. So. Uh, if I minus one, then we trade here, then we farewell everything, and minus one with the Emperor, so we have the Samurai. I like it. I think it's pretty good. We get a bit of damage, but his mana is uh, also pretty low then. Alright, moment. All right, better. So, uh, let's go with the obvious play, shall we? Creatures. I don't really care about the Graveyards. That feels much better, in my opinion. Let's create the Samurai. And the Forge, our Wincon, starting to get scared. And we have an, another one if we need to. And Samurai will mean that we have enough blockers. So we should be able to push the damage, right? Before they can recover. That's something they are not used to because against control, they just keep refilling, keep refilling and all of this stuff. But against our deck, it won't be as easy because we actually can make lethal on them. All right, that's actually a decent land. All right, let's make the forge. 
this way we don't flip to night time. And I mean, we will go th with the samurai, because we are creating a lot of pressure every time, so if he wants to keep attacking, uh, this will be harsh for him. It might be a ganja, who knows. So, 4 damage. It will be 6 damage on the next turn. Much, much better. Sure. Uh, of course, another Katar would be a bit scary. But if we draw one removal more, I think we should do it. I think we should do it. Alright, three cards, four mana. There is a lot that he can draw. Lay down arms, but it gives us life. That's actually pretty good. Because it basically blocks for the turn, right? Merle, yeah, this is, this is what I feared. This is probably the best card they might have. This will be scary, that's for sure. Alright, this is a really good draw. I mean, it could be Mirex, but... Yeah, but we don't really want to go this way. We don't want to pain ourselves as well. Alright, 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 alright. I don't have double white, so my tap seems pretty bad over. <laughs> Alright, how do we do it? Will be harsh. I mean, it has to be double emperor probably on the next turn, right? Something crazy like this. Man, it's getting tense. It really is getting tense. So if he blocks this one, then this goes through. It's basically the same damage both ways, right? Nothing can block. So we take 5 damage. Oh man, I wish I I left double white for the Emperor. That would change so much. But he's down to 7. If He definitely wants to attack with Mirel, but our tokens have trample. This is really good, honestly. Because I wanted double Emperor, now I cannot, right? I had enough mana. Alright guys, alright, so this is what? The beginning put an oil counter, so 5 and 3, so 8 damage. But he has first strike here. Alright, but 8 damage, right? We need to think it through. 9 damage and 6 will be negated. I think we won, guys. Mirex, please. Just make sure that we don't lose this one. <laughs> Alright, Talia. Man, Mirex, the MVP of every game ever. Man, that's so close, but I think we are winning this, right? I think we are winning this. We have the Emperor. Oops, alright. I wonder what kind of oops it is. And will he remember about the trample? He does. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference how he blocks. Five, six. Alright. <laughs> I mean, that's that's pretty clutch win. <laughs> alright, uh, I can go with the first strike. I don't think it makes a difference, right? But I, I don't know. I'm I'm too scared to try, but I, I think it should be fine. Exactly. Hashtag calculated. Man, double forge for the win against soldiers. <laughs> oh man, that was super clutch. Uh, it, it was closer than I would like it to be. And you know what? Going first with Syncopate and Lightning Strike and Double Emperor, like this is good early and mid game basically, right? Let's just not mess our lands, shall we? Yeah, uh, as long as we hit Shivan Reef. Oh, our friend Monoret, we are absolutely happy to see you. That's great, enjoyable. And let nobody tell you otherwise. <laughs> Alright, so. Chick is fine. What is the other play? So, 2 damage isn't as scary. 
I think we should lightning strike the swift spear. Yeah, I don't see any other play. And 3 damage means that 1 mana is not allowed to buff it too much, so even if he you know, plays with fire, it doesn't make a difference. So we know he has make, uh, he has play with fire, and that's important. Alright, I mean, not much of a choice here, right? We need a lot of white mana, we have the blue one. I should definitely not click it. <laughs> sure. Enjoy. Of course, we are trying to be prepared for Squee, because Squee is our friend as well, because it's pure, purely red. Some goblins, it's always there, always lurking, and we will exile it. So our great friend, Mono Red player, is not having the perfect time of his life yet, but we'll try to make it even better. Absolutely. Uh, it's still very, very scary. All right, uh, down to, all right, that's a lot of value. Let's see the cards. All right, this is really, not sure what, but it's really something. <laughs> it's really something. All right, so the smorky smorky commands. Uh, we definitely go for the Emperor. Let's take some free damage to our face. And now is the question. Much my the question. We can minus one this. No, not really. Let's just go with the swift spear. We need to endure as long as possible, right? Because set. it will take a while and double my murder is not exactly what we want. Not exactly what we want. So if I plus the Emperor, it probably eats the play with fire, right? Which is a bit better, as we don't scry. We don't want to use Memory Deluge, because the Painlands will absolutely destroy us. We only have Painlands, basically. Huh. The Samurai? Is Samurai any good? I mean, it starts something, right? So, you know what? Let's go with the, Emperor, with the, with the Samurai. Keep watch for I just want to create some pressure, so on the next turn we can start attacking, and at some point he will eat the, the ground thing, you know? Two damage to the face, absolutely great. It makes my day every single time, so we'll take it gracefully. I'm a bit scared about this play. I don't know the last card, but it, usually it is a burn spell. That was super quick, so it's probably not a burn spell. A bit scary. I hope it's not like Raiju or something. Alright. That's the third Painland, and that's absolutely great. I mean, we will play it. That's really bad, isn't it? Man, this is so bad. Uh, let's start with this one. And this creates a lot of pressure to him. Alright. Oh boy, I have no idea. Uh, let's just see what happens, right? The point is that he needs to start attacking the Emperor. Oh, here we are. Reckless Impulse probably, right? Scary. Not gonna lie. Let's see what the spell is. Probably something to kill the Emperor, I guess. Unless he wants to go with the Impulse and just set up the next turn. Alright, alright, that's fine. So let's see what it will be. We can still trade here, so that's, uh, that's a big deal. If I hit Syncopate, man... Like, alright, we have to play this. It hurts like crazy. I'm not happy about it at all. <laughs> but this is why I did it. This is exactly why I did it. Alright, we could stabilize the game from here, right? I would like to use the forge, but against this particular situation it's a bit too much. Oh man, it's it's even more damage to my face. Alright, alright. That's it. Even more than man. If we didn't hit Painlands, it would be such a different game. <laughs> they should start attacking, right? 
All right. I will try it. Going to rest in pieces. Yep. Triple Shivan Rift, triple Battlefield Forge. And there's no mention of the Shuffler because we are not this kind of person. We would never do it. So we just keep plusing the Emperor. Man, this is so freaking awkward. I have all the mana in the world, but I have six pain lands and one normal land. I mean, you you are not drawing the cards. That's the cool part. <laughs> That's the neat part. Oh, oh, I like we wanted to welcome our friend Monored, but he just didn't feel like it. Uh...